Nicola Sturgeon has pledged unity and humility will deliver a successful independence vote as the Tories threaten to undo devolution. Opening the SNP's annual conference today amid the coronavirus pandemic, Nicola Sturgeon stressed Scotland was ready to demonstrate its position on the world stage as an independent country. Ms Sturgeon said Scotland was on the cusp of making history, as she hinted a second vote could take place as early as next year, but Boris Johnson has insisted he will not hand her the power to hold a vote, even if the SNP wins a majority in next May's Holyrood election. Leader of the House of the Commons Jacob Rees-Mogg also said, Blairite constitutional tinkering, had weakened the UK Parliament and, helped to divide the United Kingdom. Speaking in the Commons, Mr. Rees Mogg said, The last Labour government decided to take a wrecking ball to our constitution and made a bit of a muddle with it. He said some of their most foolish interventions were their constitutional blunders on creating the Scottish Parliament in 1999. He concluded, I hope that this government find an effective way of restoring our constitution to its proper form. But Ms. Sturgeon said, the question for all of us as we look ahead to the election next May is this, who should be taking the decisions that will shape our futures? We know that it is the people who live here, wherever they come from, who can best harness Scotland's immense human and natural resources to the benefit of everyone. She made clear this weekend and over the next few months, let us reach out, to all of Scotland, like never before. She continued, let us demonstrate, with cool heads and with patient persuasion, that Scotland is ready to take its place in the global family of independent nations. Scotland is now a nation on the cusp of making history, independence is in clear sight, and with unity of purpose, humility and hard work I have never been so certain that we will deliver it. Ms Sturgeon stressed the people of Scotland had the right to choose their future, and concluded, let's now focus all our efforts on making sure we bring about that better country they and future generations deserve. An independent future lies ahead, let's grasp it. She added the primary focus was to eliminate COVID-19 from our shores, for which we have renewed hope, Scotland must be ready for what comes next. And I know we will be. But last night, opposition members said instead of focusing on independence, the first minister of Scotland to apologise for broken promises to the people of Scotland.